is expected to announce another $750 million in military aid for Ukraine. The German government has said it is giving more than 1 billion euros in military aid to Ukraine. Also implicated, the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky, who earlier spoke to the correspondent in Kiev, Oliver Crowley. The paper revealed that Vladimir Zelensky's production company, Kvartel 95, and numerous people associated with it and with him used offshore companies in order to store the money that they had earned for many years before Volodymyr Zelensky was elected president. Um, there is no indication in these papers that this money was earned illegally, and already one of Volodymyr Zelensky's associates has been defending that practice, saying it was the only way to stop the money being targeted by corporate raiders in Ukraine's corrupt establishment. But then when this person was asked in a film made by uh, Ukrainian journalists, why didn't you get rid of these uh, companies when you became the establishment? He said, well, we're doing it, but it's a slow process. There is one aspect of this, though, where Volodymyr Zelensky could be seen as being on the wrong side of the law, and that is that there is one of these companies which he apparently passed to his associate, Sergei Shafir, when he was elected without any money changing hands, but that company is now, um, according to the papers, belonging perhaps indirectly to Sergei Shafir, but still paying dividends to Volodymyr Zelensky and his wife. If that's true, then that is perhaps illegal. These days, corruption in Ukraine is all over the news. But for Ukrainians, corruption isn't new. It's old. And it's not just among the bigwigs and businessmen. It's kind of everywhere. And your average Ukrainian is remarkably open about it. Всім привіт. Мене звати Олег, я громадянин України, і я в своєму житті стикнувся з корупцією. Тобто я заплатив хабар у розмірі 1300 доларів для того, щоб не піти, не піти в армію. Десять років тому я ще студенткою будучи працювала в міністерстві. І от коли купа була дуже велика, мене попросили, запропонували з нижньої папки перекласти на верх, щоб міністр розглянув швидше і вирішив питання швидше. Я це зробила і отримала компенсацію 800 доларів. Давав хабаря дорожній поліції. Декілька разів вчора я заплатив хабар за навчання, тому що потрібно працювати сім днів на тиждень і немає змоги відвідувати навчальний заклад. Було заплачено 200 доларів. В принципі, звичайна ціна за хабар в навчальних закладах. International organizations and banks consistently rank Ukraine among the most corrupt countries in the world. Last year, Transparency International placed Ukraine 120 out of 180 countries on its Corruption Perception Index. For a long time, economic scarcity, top-down control of the economy, combined with a lack of transparency, meant that getting anything done required what some Ukrainians call giving a grunt. In a way, corruption is almost part of the culture. Ukrainians have this, you can call it post-Soviet or maybe some other word, attitude, where like, Okay, top politicians can steal money, but if we get something still in the end, it's okay. So they're tolerant of it. Yes, there was this level of tolerance. Uh, as long as there is, you know, some visible uh, leftovers for the rest of the country. steps to ally themselves with Europe more than with you. They then elected by a huge margin a popular Russian-speaking guy who wants ties with the West and Europe and the United States. A new, young, charismatic leader who said the night he was elected that everybody in the former Soviet states should look at his election and know that anything is possible. That anything is possible, even in the former Soviet world, thanks to democracy. Now here's something you are not going to hear on the mainstream media. What you do hear is warmongers arguing that we must protect Ukraine because it is a quote-unquote democracy. But they're lying. Ukraine isn't actually a democracy. For example, to hold on to power, Ukraine's president shut down the three TV stations who were openly criticizing him and his policies, imprisoned the head of the opposition political party that had come in second place in their elections, and went and arrested and jailed that party's leaders. This is exactly what Putin has been accused of doing. But Ukraine did this.
this all with the support of the United States.